And I know for a fact that that's exactly what they're doing. Someone did mention um, medications coming in at it. Even with tomatoes, this is not usual. I mean, I know we be low over here in my parts of New Jersey, but. Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back to another video. Today is Saturday, so you guys know what time it is. We're gonna head into our news, comments, and reports today. Excuse the look, I'm about to go do my hair right after this video, but. I know some of y'all do understand. So let's head into today's video. Grab a cup of coffee or tea or whatever it is that you need to drink because we're about to sit back, relax, run this background video and get to talking. If you're here and you're new, please check in. Let us know where you are watching from and how you are doing. And of course, if you've been here before, still check in. So this is Shauna and I'm officially checking in from Moments with Us. Yes, from New Jersey. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get today's video started because there's some news, comments, and reports that need to be reported on. So let's go. So I have not, honestly, I have not been opening up any articles lately. I've been resetting my mind. Um, so first thing I see when I open up, you know, my little articles page, stock up on food, water, and fuel ahead of the eclipse. Emergency officials warn. Wait a minute, what? What's going on? Let's dig into this article. Lorain County Emergency Management in Ohio have issued a warning to Eclipse watchers and locals to the path of totality to stock up on food, water, and fuel ahead of the total eclipse on April 8th with the influx of visitors to the area expected. All right, family, so let's get straight to the point. So they're basically saying that being that it's a smaller town, they don't have um, four-way roads in a lot of their streets they're saying during this time a lot of tourists would be in the area basically blocking up traffic making it hard for deliveries to be delivered um and as far as getting to stores it's going to be hard to get to stores because it's going to be so much traffic so if you do not have the food or whatever items that you need in your home that would not be the day to go out and basically get it they said a lot of the roads here are two lanes they're saying this is not chicago it's not cleveland where we have a bunch of four lane um roads six lane roads coming in so the traffic could be pretty extreme here if we get crowds more than we expect um, so the EMA is also warning that cell phone signals could be lost due to an increase in cell phone activity in the area overloading the system. Okay, so the team is war warning residents that in the weakening head of the eclipse, they should fill their vehicles with gas, stock up on food, and avoid other travel where possible. All right, so to sum it all up, Lorain County um, in Ohio, residents are warned to stock up on food, water, and supplies. Also, your cell phone you, your cell phone might be running a little bit slow because there will be a lot of usage in the area due to tourists coming to watch the eclipse. So definitely, they're telling you ahead of time, stock up on those items if you're not already prepared. Because you don't want to go out in all that traffic, basically, they're saying, and be hit with, oh, you can't get to the store or it's taking you forever to get to the store or a lot of items being out of stock because tourists like to shop too. So take that warning and do what you do with it. So before April 8th, which is right around the corner, believe it or not, make sure you have exactly whatever it is that you need. Oh, I miss when Key was that small. So you guys, self-checkout lovers and self-checkout haters. Target is making a make a change with the self-checkout policy, if you guys didn't know. It's not only Target, it's Walmart, and there's a lot of other major retailers that is making this change. So what's happening with self-checkout? Businesses are taking a huge loss with people self-checking out, if you know what I mean. So what they're trying to do is with um, self-checkout, it can only be like 10 items or less in a lot of stores now. Um, and they're shutting down a lot of the self-checkout lanes. But the problem that I'm having is if you're going to take out self-checkout, self at least a few self-checkouts, can y'all please open up some more real cashiers, please? Because I thought shut down the machines, bring back the cashiers. It would make more sense. But it seems like they're not trying to really like 
make it work literally um because of course they would have to employ more people to open some more lanes but we want the real people back right that's the only way that you know things are going to get scanned correctly in the amount and whatever else people are going to be paying for whatever it is that they pick up other than that people are still going to find a way to take things out of the store and like i always say yes to still it's still wrong regardless but with with prices still going up and people you know the wages are not matching the cost of living like i say even the most honest person have resulted to possibly stealing something because they can't afford everything to live. It really sucks, man. It really do. But hopefully taking away a lot of these um, self-checkout lanes would open up more job opportunities and more people would be employed. Hopefully the businesses would open up more actual checkout lanes with cashiers. Because even with me, like I went to Target and they steal one cashier one cashier they was doing something to the self-checkouts but still one cashier it's ridiculous but hey 10 items per self-checkout person simple so have you noticed there's less self-checkout machines open and more cashiers or just okay they knocked down some of the self-checkouts but we still don't have no cashiers or, of course, oh, we got a whole bunch of cashiers now in the self-checkout. Oh, it's like non-existent. Which one are you seeing? And, of course, remember to check in. Us, like I said, I've seen them working on the self-checkout lanes a lot. Maybe they're trying to better it to catch, um, they're trying to better it to make sure they can catch every little thing that's being scanned so nobody can't steal because they don't want to employ people. That's what I'm seeing. At least that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that in a lot of places that I shop at, all the self-checkouts are suddenly being worked on. I want you guys to really watch out. Um, I want you guys who are not filtering your water, please start to do your research on great water filters. Um, I hear that the Berkeley is like a great one, but please do your own research and find out what's best for you. Do your own research when it comes down to you and your family and your health. Um, but I do hear that the Berkeley is a very good one. Um, Because what's going on with the water is quite ridiculous. The contamination and the amount of chemicals that they are finding in just tap water alone that we shower, cook, pass. Some people actually drink from the tap still. Um, drink everything with. And now look at this. This is a huge problem. So America's deadly tap water problem. So the CDC says bacterial infections that spreads through showers, faucets, and AC units has killed 80 and hospitalized 500 in the U.S. So, so many people, like I mentioned before, all of a sudden getting sick. And their sicknesses is not going anywhere. This can be one of the key issues. Besides, of course, the foods and everything else. Um, Y'all know they're trying to kill off the, the American citizens, you know? And, and it's the honest truth. That, that's what they're doing. But pay attention to that tap water. I'm telling you guys, pay attention. Because this is something that's actually been happening over the past year. There's been so much different information that's been being put out with the tap water. Um, I believe here in New Jersey right now, um, certain American water company, they have partnered with, um, they partnered with, it's slipping me. They partnered with, oh, well, they partnered with the city. They, they partnered with certain cities, um, to go ahead and change out the lead pipes in the homes for the water company for free, as they say, for free. I don't know what's the, you know, the plan at the end. Are they really being honest? Are they really changing out the lead pipes? What are they really doing? They're constantly messing around with the water in my area. I ain't going to lie. That's what they're doing. They're constantly messing with the water. What are they doing? Is it an honest, like, you got a question, like, is it really an honest thing? 
Why are they messing with the water pipes so much? I really do hope that they are changing the lead pipes out. But what if they're not? What if they not? So if you guys did not know, Family Dollar and Dollar Tree would be closing a thousand stores. But in what areas do you think they'll be closing the stores? Let us know in the comments down below because really a thousand stores? Man, oh man. But we have a full video on that one. So you guys, of course, stay tuned for that. So certain things I did see fall short this week is Walmart, their, I guess, fish section. So they was running low, like on certain fish for people who do buy that stuff at Walmart. Like they, um, their so-called fresh salmon and stuff. Yeah, they was running real low on that stuff. The formula also is starting to look very picked over again. So that's a concern for moms and dads who need to go ahead and get that formula for their babies. Spices and shop right. Mm, Y'all know how I love my spices. But when spices start becoming so expensive and picked over, oh yeah, that's a problem. And then we went to shop right. I wanted some turkey wings. And y'all, when I saw these turkey wings, first they looked beat up. Toe up from the flow up. And they were $6.99 a pound for like four, five turkey wings. And looking like this, almost $12 for the pack. Oh, yes, that's a problem. And then I actually went and took two of the kids into a corner store about, I think it was last week, y'all. Um, and when I tell y'all, I do not like going in corner stores anymore. They be charging three times of what an item actually is. So I refused, but I went in. I took the kids in. We went, and here's what some of it looked like. So they actually are seeing some things you know, falling short on our shelves as well. Also, look at this, the potato chips. They hardly even have any chips on the rack neither. And yes, they want almost a dollar for a bag of these small bag chips that you buy like at BJ's or Sam's Club. And that's for their shop. They go to like BJ's and Sam's Club and they unpack that box and sell them bags for about 75 cents to a dollar for a bag of chips each. But the box do cost you like a good 18 bucks though. So they are making profit. I get it. But I won't sit there and spend all that money when I know how much something really costs. But these stores do come in hand for people who have issues with like transportation. They can only go to the corner store. Whatever the case may be, the corner store might have what they need. Um, you're just going to have to pay a little bit more for the convenience. So we're going to actually leave this video right here where it's at. We'll pick up where we're leaving off um, during the week. So during the middle of the week, we'll go ahead and pick this video up because we are running out of time. Running out of time. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, all you have to do is subscribe if you are new. And if you've been here before, of course, thank you so much for coming back. Y'all yeah, know we're, we, we family we like this. Thank you for coming back. So this is Shauna, and I'm officially checking out from Moments With Us. Anything that you would like to add to the video the next week or the middle of the week, of course, drop it down in the comments down below. So until next time, y'all, stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe. Most of all, remain beautiful queens and kings. This is Shauna, and I'm officially checking out. Peace. Stay blessed.